anytime we get these failure, anytime we hit anything again, it steps up. So it's either you get to avoid it all, or basically it's, you have this growing die on you in the middle of it. That's how uh, I read it. I'll use the favor to try and reroll. All right. Hmm. Okay, it won't be as bad. Need to get a six or above for the entrance. Yep. You could spend the favor and spend the plot point to add a higher die steel roll. Alright then. Spend another favor and and I'll spend a plot point. And the higher die. Alright. Uh, diligence. Makes sense. And there we go. Alright. Ho has a bit more of a struggle, but she's able to get through without any lasting effect. Am I still here? Yes, sir. All right. All right. I'm going to be asking that a lot. So, I guess we're going to the Muda area first. All right. I suppose in this particular case, as I guess, Ryu will swing by the hut of the uh, satyr and make sure everything's okay. All right, so uh, the hut will be on the most forward point, and they're going to try and tackle this section right ahead. This one here. Okay. Unless you want him to come with you. No, we need to keep him as a guard just in case. All right. So, when you get into the area, I'm going to go to my fucking, like, music file. Because doing this in silence is not helping me. And I can't load the song because it's really fucking laggy. So give me a moment. Let's get my video game music out. <laughs> I was going to say the song isn't very loud. Make your own music, Jess. It's beautiful. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to disappear for a little bit. Do like um for me lunch, just so that I don't have to break when it's my turn. Wow, so. someone's not committed. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Ray, do you want to play as Mateki in battle, or are you going to make me do that? Uh, I could. Did I. You okay, no, you're here. I guess I could. All right, so uh, when you get to the area, you find that... Uh, as soon as you step in, like, like it seems completely open, and it looks, it kind of looks like a, uh, it kind of looks like a forest. Forest, yes, forest. Yes, okay. Ooh, a nice forest. Oh, I get it, it's just dark out. That's the mood, though. <laughs> We're going to be fighting drows. The indigenous people of Japan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, I guess Hamato will roll for his map. Yeah. You didn't tell him to, but I'm not going to be like, I don't you didn't ask for a know. map. <laughs> well, that's a very Hamato thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's uh, 1D... 
Renato, Hammy, Hammy, 1D. What's his team rating? Let me just get a Probably this. not very good. Yeah, it shouldn't <laughs> be very good. Probably well, it should be good. dropped to a D6 considering yeah, it's to stand a, above yeah, and up the side. Yeah, it's a D6 anyway. D8, 1D, 12 for his knowledge, plus 20. Good yeah. job, Kamada. Good work, Kamada. It's bad. <sighs> All right. So. <laughs> but you were spaghetti. Better. It will be better next time. <laughs> so Kamada will be like, "Oh, geez, this 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 area is really hard to map out. I can't get a solid path down, but I know I know where the end is. I just don't know how to get there." <laughs> You might need to uh, explore a little. I mean, it's what you guys signed up for, right? <laughs> well, it's something, I suppose. <laughs> and Mateo will be like, hell yeah, that makes it more fun, right? I mean, if we just scout this whole area, we meant to clean it all out, right? Yeah, it'd just help if we knew where the ambush sites were. Ah, yeah, that would be helpful. Uh, do you guys have anything, like, we can protect ourselves with? Uh, in case we get, like, a face full of arrows or something? Uh, I might be able to create a uh, shield of wind, but it wouldn't last very long. Not all that good with the whole magic thing. Hmm. Uh. Uh. I'd say I'd cover us in ice, but that would be kind of cold. You might, you know, not do so well. Uh, Reiko? Do you have anything? Uh, what? You know, before we step forth, anything that can help us? Or are we just gonna man up and go in there? Uh, sorry, I just like <laughs> a moment, I completely blacked out. Um, uh, hmm. Uh, I mean, uh, give me a moment. Sick lovers. Shit. I mean, I said I'm a supporter, but all this stuff I can only use for myself. On your character, on your character. Um, you know what, speaking, like, how much would it cost me to summon, not Mystic Bind, just normally summon Red Spirit. That will boost their courage. Uh, the mi- uh... To, to, to do a not random one, it's pretty much draining. But you can try and summon a random one and see if you get lucky. I mean, each spirit is. Yeah, I important. don't. I don't want to drain at the very start. So I will roll for you. So where are we? Spirit, spirit, spirit. Summon spirit. Purple. Nope. Purple is Hayden's emotions and persona. Uh, boost intuition base rolls lowering the DC. So, oh no, wait, that's. It does it like. Out of, let me just double check it. Purple. Yeah, actually, now I have a proper explanation why Reiko would be interested and she'll be buying m modifier upgrades for like martial arts or like quarter stuff fighting or whatever. Because she realized, hey, Hi. it's good to defend yourself or with something. Well, those so, are just, again, for social roles. So as, uh, I guess as Reiko summons the purple spirit, it will, I imagine they look like whiffs, but they 
it's obviously purple. It's a purple wisp. There you go. <laughs> and they'll just yeah. kind of circle around the heads of Motoki, Ryu, and Reiko. And they'll try and... You kind of feel you kind of feel like there's a film going over your eyes as if trying to heighten like what you can see beyond just normal shit. I will roll your intuitions in public. 1d10 plus 1d6. 1d6. <laughs> what are two characters with shit intuition? All right. Woo! All right, so... Uh... And d10 is the worst. Yep. <laughs> So I guess, I guess uh, the spirit would cut, uh, kind of try in vain to help for you. But, I figure uh, chances probably because of the whole darkness thing. It's yeah. not exactly allowing it to do much. Yeah, it feels like it's being repelled. And uh, and uh, and um, Motoki would uh, Motoki would be like, whoa, whoa, dude. Uh, uh, there's uh, there's like. A group of people in the trees ahead of us. Like, they don't seem too happy. Have you met anything in this place that ever has been happy? Hey, I helped, and like, Reiko is somewhat slightly happy. I mean, it wasn't the one that I was looking for, but hey, like, I tried to, like, almost have high whips. You helped! Like, what Matoki can see is that there. They're kind of waiting, like, you can kind of sense the realist that they're kind of waiting to see you guys walk in. Well then, if they're going to be waiting on us, let's go and see what they want. Uh, are you sure we're just going to walk forward? Oh, well, I mean, if there are spirits or something of sorts, I can, you know, try to negotiate with them. I mean, I don't... Well, yeah, let's see if they're willing to talk. We'll stand at the edge of the forest and call out to them. Alright, so who's hurt, doing I suppose. The, who's doing the calling out? Let's do Matoki since Matoki knows where they are. Alright. What's Matoki's expression? Uh... Is it possible to aid him? Or not really. All right. Uh, I'd say you can help him if you help if you join in with the shouting out. I mean, hey, I suggested this idea, so don't worry, Motoki. I'm sure it will be fine. I'm like try to offer my big smile and like wave hello. All right. So you can both roll your uh, expressions then. Is and you'll get your social link modified. Simple role or complicated? Of a simple role. You'll get your social link modifier was of none. So <laughs> <laughs> Yep. I don't have social link with him, I'm pretty sure. Well you'll spoiler alert, you'll get one at the end of this session with him. Woo! Yeah, probably. Because I met him finally. Okay. Um Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna spend PP on that to get higher dice, but question, does my spiritual negotiation modifier could potentially apply? Or not? Probably not, but just wondering. Or diplomacy modifier. If none of those two, then no problem. Yes! What? You 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 distracted no, 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 me. No, no. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. What did you say? I was just wondering Does... if either my spiritual ne negotiation modifier or diplomacy modifier can be applied to this role. If not, then it's fine. It depends on what you shout out, really. Uh... Matoki would be kind of like. Uh... What's his expression? D8. Let me see. He'd be like, hey, yo, I know you're up there and all. I mean, I don't exactly want to walk into a trap and stuff. I mean, you want something, right? So, uh, I let you come down here and, you know, we can 
talk it out. I mean, hey, it's not like we're here to take your territory or anything like that. Nope, no, sorry. Yeah, then I will probably be going along the same lines that nobody said that we have to exterminate everything in here, so... Like, hey there, we're, f we're friendly. <laughs> I mean, look at my... I mean, I'm trying to be like a bundle of sunshine and rainbows. Alright. Just him to talk and meet you or something. We don't want to intrude. Alright, so you can kind of hear some rustling in the leaves and uh, what's their abilities? I mean, since I need to roll, then I'm gonna roll. Ooh. Alright. Yeah, maybe and, because uh, I'm Hama and they are a Mudo. <laughs> and you'll just kind of see like a. Uh, You'll kind of see like a rat scurry down and towards the group. A rat? Yeah. And he says, uh, and says, uh, don't think we're dumb. I know you're here with the, with those who wish to tear this place down. We will fight to protect our home. And that which gives us power. Well then, how about you just allow us to pass through it? We won't do anything to harm you, and you leave us alone, and we'll leave it at that. Do you really think that if you just walk past, that they won't, they won't, they won't trudge past after you? You make our stand. I'm sure we might be able to convince him of that. Mm. So start convincing them then. What to, uh, okay, maybe I missed something, but never mind. So he's trying to convince them to allow him to walk through. No, he's, he, he wants, the rat wants you to, to get, to, to call off the, uh, to call off the more, the, the more clearing. And he wants to hear the clearance from Umbra Hawk themselves. Well, we'll leave your area alone, but we still do have to take other areas. I knew it was useless. I mean, I mean, think you really... about this way. Like, hey, you only have like this one particular area. Like, you are pr we are really nice and reasonable. You want to talk with us, so if we create other areas, then they will fall under your uh, supervision. Is the word? I mean, you can be protectors of like this place, and you will take all your areas from. Creatures that do not deserve it. You'll be guardians. Be like, listen here, little lady. You may not be clued up on the memo, but they want they want the more to be gone entirely. Puss, gone forever. They want it cleaned out completely. Do you really think that? Do you really think that they'll just leave this one little area here? Well, if you it's don't like give a, them a reason to it, then probably yes. It's a systematic destroy. Whatever. You don't understand. Well, you can you could enjoy the game. We won't make it easy for you. And the rat will scuttle away. Well. That didn't go over well. So then I guess we've only got one other way to do this. That's it. I mean, I like look at everybody else. Well, I'm gonna follow your lead. I wanted to help, so not gonna back down now. All right, you ready, Matoki? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I mean, I wish there was a place we could home them, but you know, this place is fucking up our city. Oops, sorry, messing up our city. Oops, sorry. Was he was that in character, or did you not want Matoki to in, be a in bad character. boy? <laughs> okay. Oh. Fucking Are they all all the uh, rats in one tree? Or are they in multiple trees? Uh, you don't know. 
All right. Well, if we're going to do this, then uh, let's get started. I'm Ryu is going to see about shooting a, a uh, basically a blade of wind to cut down the tree that the uh, rat scurried into. All right. So is there something specific I have to roll for that? Uh, it would be an attack roll. Okay. You know it will be against the Doom pool because it's just an environmental piece. Okay, let's see. So, no change to my team die. Right. So, let's see. His magic is 1d8. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break that D12 down into into 4D8. Alright. So, 5 die. Alright, so that's a 7 and an 8. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go with the 15d8. Alright. So. Going to have to roll two eights to uh, prevent it. Alright. Alright. No, four, three, two. Nice. All right. So uh, as you as you hit the tree, like you see one of, you see like a you see like a like a. What did I say? They were humanoid. You said they were rats. No, 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 no. Talking to myself. Right. Okay, you kind of see like you kind of see like a huge figure start to fall out from the tree. And it is definitely not a rat. It's very human looking. It reminds you like a you kinda looks like a like an enlarged malevolent fairy. Kinda like a drow troll. Girl, female. Kinda like a what? Drow troll female. Drow troll. Uh I'm a bit lost on that one myself. Take a troll, take a drow, drow have a baby. Like- Give it to it is. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. No, okay. God. You guys have no imagination. Come on. No, I have like... an imagination. It was going in a whole lot different directions, though. It's about <laughs> the size of, like, uh, it's like three meters tall. <laughs> Jeez. Jesus. Well, oh, that's... Seduce it. <laughs> that's your job. <laughs> well, you got its attention. All right. So, if you want to attack that particular, uh, if you want to attack that particular one, it will get a negative to its initiative. So, uh, do you want to you want to go on the initiative and just attack it? I mean, TikTok. Reiko will follow in. Uh, Raf's Ryu's footsteps. Well, kids, how did Matoki say how many people he saw? Uh, he said there was at least three people. Well then, let's do this something simply. Fight to capture. Yes, Ryu is going to attack. Since they plan on making it, and it, they're planning on fighting us for it. Alright, so, uh... I guess uh, I guess we'll roll. Yeah. I rolled the initiative of on that fell down. Woo! She is out cold. Woo! It goes next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, come on. As she fell out of the tree, she stumbled and basically sort of landed on her butt. Uh, I, I think she landed s- on more than her butt. Hmm. Yeah. Do I, I think she landed on her head. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah do I want to use Cyclo Burst? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's out for she's out for turn. Cyclo Burst passive means you get it automatically, so you'll get a plus twenty. Do I you've wrote that I need to spend two power points to use Cyclo Burst passive on your character last for free encounters? That's what's written on freaking character sheet. Under standard actions. If you just roll your initiative and if you win, you'll get two item actions for the remainder of the combat. For this particular one. Okay. Cycle of Subclass is plus 20. Okay. So there's actually four of them. <laughs> okay. Nope. You didn't win. Yep. Spoiler. <laughs> okay. I know. So I guess so I guess Matoki needs to roll initiative. Uh, I'll do that. Although that works out nicely in plot, like this is the first time she is here. Oh, oh wow. wow! Kill yourself. God damn it, Matoki. <laughs> so, he's um, completely distracted by the drow troll thing. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Uh, he he's he's completely spooked. Uh, he's never seen a woman that tall before. Oh, that's what throws him off. Just her height. Oh. <laughs> I figured it'd be so, the face I'm only a mother could love. Hey. So Matoki and the troll lady who fell out will not be having their goes <laughs> for the first round. <laughs> They're enamored with each other. <laughs> All right. Do the other three show up, or do we still kind of... They're, va they're up in trees. Yeah, you don't know where they are. All right, then. Let's subdue the one that we can see. All right, so Ryu is going to, again, attack the one on the ground. All right. Or at this time, or I guess I attack the one on the ground. Are they considered, like, falling down or whatever that trait is? Knockdown? Knockdown, thank you. Yeah. Actually. Okay, so 14d8. Alright. Since I can't use Ew. my d10. Do I get the power point? Uh, I need to hide the doom pool again, but yeah. Give me. Yeah, you'll get a plot point. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay. There you go. So, I need to roll. So, one. I guess I'm spending. No, I won't spend. She's not down. She won't spend. So, how much is that? Uh, D8. Let me see if there's a troll in the free assets. Troll. There is. All the trolls are male. What is this shit? Sexist patriarchy! Thank you. <laughs> can you can you take out a token because it's loading slowly for me? Sure. There's something that looks like a tr like a warrior. Troll. Actually, I think part of it is because there's no way to tell the difference between a male and a female troll. At yeah. least in D&D. This is a lovely troll for you. <laughs> She's beautiful. Is it just me, or does anybody else really hate the fact that all the tokens are are like, you know, head up? So you actually don't get yeah. to see what the token looks yes. like. Yes. Yeah, they're garbage. Like, why the fuck do you do that? Yeah, it's pretty garbage. Because it's designed for the D and D map, but yeah. But even yeah, still, I mean, you have the ability to look at your your figure, you know, full on. Why would you not yeah. do that? It's pretty garbage. <laughs> no excuse. Got it. Alright. So uh that's that's physical, right? Yeah. It has a D eight physical now. And uh who uh, did you pass the turn to? Well 
I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to pass it to one of the uh, non-knockdown trolls. All right. So, uh, uh, I guess, uh, I guess you'll just kind of see, uh, all right, so you'll just kind of see like a, like a, uh, kind of like a, uh, boomerang effect, but it's not a real boomerang come flying towards you, which is going to be a magical attack. Let me see what that one is. <laughs> of course they're going to explode. Everything here explodes. Fuck you! I'm not going to use my table, so... So, 16d10. Uh-oh. Yeah. Nope, not even if I tried. Alright, so... Uh, so, instead of taking a d10 magical damage, you take a d10 complication, and your, your elements change as soon as it hits you. So, it will be... Uh... This will be your strength, and this will be your weakness. <laughs> All right. Ouch. All right. So that will be your weak against everything, right? No, no what type is a specific okay. element. No, <laughs> it's no type. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. That's a great. My dark thing. effects still in the, my dark ability still in effect. My darkness still in effect, so I still have the absorb darkness. Oh, is that a change? I'm going to say yes. Oh, okay. Because okay. technically, I have two no strengths. Images. I told you. Re. This is just the only one I've posted in a while. I can tell you, it hasn't loaded. Okay, Probably. don't worry. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> All right. So you have a D10 complication. Yeah. So I guess it will I guess it will pass its turn to its other compadre. And it will do the same attack on uh, Reiko. Oh no. So, all right, and it will spend a doom pool point to uh, add the free. Uh, so for affiliation, uh, am I in team? Does it count like a team or? Yeah, you're in team. Oh, well, team is the okay. D6 because of because of evil. Yeah, evil evilness. Ah, okay. So instead of d10 is the six. Okay, population, distinction. Uh, could I say that I? I mean, sorry, because I'm like feeling strange as the game started. So sometimes it like things are just flying out of my mind. We are in.